We are going to connect the seven pedals using a Corex2 DIY solderless cable kit. Before making our cables, we arrange the pedals into positions with all the connectors plugged in. We do this to get an accurate spacing measure and a good fit on the board. As a side note, if you're using a daisy chain or a power supply, go ahead and plug those wires in as well. In this video, we won't be talking about power cords, but they will determine some of the spacing of your pedals, so it's a good idea to have them plugged in. Next, I decide on the connection flow. The first input, usually the instrument, through all of the effects and then out to the amplifier. As you will notice, not all the pedals have the same in-out jack positions. So take a look at these when plotting the connection flow. Starting with effect number one, the first connection is a vertical loop. To make this loop, I use roughly six inches of cable and two right angle connectors, facing each other like you see here. This loop gives flexibility to fit in power cords and other line in, line out cables. I make vertical loops for effects two and three. When I get to number three, the out will be run to the distortion pedal in front of the board. I run the cable on the outside of the effects. This one is easily measured by having the first connection plugged in. Then I measure to the open jack to make my cut. Effects four and five have inputs on the side, so I want to get them as close as possible using a vertical loop. I used about seven and a half inches of cable and connecting the jacks in opposite directions like you see here. Lifting up one of the pedals first to connect it makes it easy to fit it in position. Moving on to 5 and 6, we make a simple half loop. Plugging one finished connection, then measuring over to the second jack to make the cut. Six and seven is a direct line, and the connectors are in opposite directions. Simply plug in my instrument cable, and then my last connection off number seven to the amplifier. There is a complete FAQ on CoreOneProduct.com with more help and tips.